What's up guys and welcome back to another raid shadow legends video with me the real deal so today we're going to be looking at an all rare team comp fire knight level 20 and um, there's a tournament going on at the moment where you can only use rare champions and there's some juicy rewards in here um you can get an ancient shard and soul essence so soul essence is really important for my account as an end game player and um, if i see anything where i can get soul essences or soul coins that can help me awaken champions i'm definitely going to go for it it's going to help me in arena but also help me in Hydra, and those are two points in the game that I'm really focused on at the moment. Uh, also, you know, if you're in a weak bracket, there's a good chance you can sort of slip in here and get yourself either an extra agent shard or possibly even some relentless gear, which is always nice. Um, but I would say if you're sort of mid to late game and you don't have very good speed gear, I'd be focusing on Dragon at the moment because there is two times speed at the moment, and that would definitely, you know, gear is more important than Finite for you if you really need it. And the other thing as well is that for me, um, you know, I've got 1500 points. I've got all the rewards that I want. I don't need a four star chicken. I don't need epic books. I only need legendary books at the moment. So there's no real point in me pushing for this tournament. I just end up burning a lot of gems. So that's why I'm focusing on this finite tournament. Um, so yeah, so let's uh, check out the team and check out the run. So this is the team comp. We've got Apothecary, two cold hearts, Soul Bomboya and Beloa. So Beloa, um, he's doing a lot of work for us here. He's in Savage. He's doing a lot of damage, but also he brings a lot of utility, um, decrease attack, which is going to help reduce the damage that the enemies do to us, drop defense, um, slows, which are good for the waves, but also really good for the boss. Um, and he can also lock out A1, uh, sorry, lock out all skills as well, which is really useful for the waves. So solid, solid champion. And he's going to help speed up the run as well by doing lots of damage. Um, Soul Bonboa. Um, mine is in a stun set because I use her in a lot of secret rooms um, and she's great as well she's gonna be doing damage to the waves also bringing a bit of CC um, but also she will um, bring turn meter control for the boss um, but also do quite a bit of damage as well um, apothecary um, he's great to have as your lead because that means he has a good chance of being targeted because he is in the lead position but also weak affinity against a uh, uh, force um, he's also going to be doing healing. Um, he has a triple hitter on his A1, and also he's going to be increasing our speed as well with that speed buff. And then two cold hearts. Um, they are pretty essential for this team comp. I'd say that um, apothecary and cold hearts are essential for this team comp to work. Um, Beloa and Solbonboya can both be subbed out for other champions, but um, you know, cold hearts with their triple hitters are going to help a lot get down that shield on the boss but also that heart seeker that just hits and does tons of damage is really going to help as well um so yeah they are pretty pretty essential for this team comp to work so um, the, um we usually do the runs are about sort of two minutes to two and a half minutes so it's pretty fast um yeah and i i don't know there's definitely other sort of team comps you could bring in so you could bring in a reliquy tender as well so she can revive um, so, you know, it's always nice to have a reviver. Um, and one thing I would say as well is that even if Beloa does die, um, the runs will still work. You can get away with just the cold hearts and Soul Bomboya doing all the work as well. Um, I have done this with War Maiden as well. Um, but yeah, Beloa is definitely a better choice. He's going to just bring more utility and do more damage. So almost at the end of the run now. And there we go. So that was in two minutes and 27 seconds. Um, and yeah, you can see Cold Hearts just pumping out like 1.1 mil damage. They're doing most of the work. Um, yeah, Bella are still doing a decent amount of damage on the waves and Soul Bond as well. Even though she's in a stun set and she's not got, you know, like crazy damage and she's not in Savage, she's still doing a decent amount of damage for us. So let's check out the gear and masteries. This is Cold Heart number one, who's in Perception and uh, Crit Damage gear. Um, so we want Crit Damage on the gloves. HP on the chest for survivability, speed on the boots, HP on the ring for more survivability, um, crit damage on the amulet. I've just realized this is five stars, so definitely should be changing that out for a six star piece, get a bit of extra crit damage, accuracy on the banner. So the important stats on her are HP. We want her to have at least 40k HP just so she doesn't get targeted. Um, attack doesn't really matter on Cold Heart. Um, speed 
is like 205. So mine speed tuned for um, Spider 25. Um, you only need 70% crit rate on her. Um, you could definitely try and push this crit damage up to like 300 or 330. So she definitely would help speed up the run, especially on the boss. And then you only need sort of 200 accuracy. Um, but because I use her for um, Spider 25, that's why she's got 275 accuracy. And you could definitely also swap out that gear for all Savage as well. Having Savage and crit damage, that'd be a really good gear set to go for. Um, so Mastery is very standard on her accuracy. Um, just increase our turn meter a little bit. And then Laura Steel, just anything that's going to help uh, increase our damage. So this is going to give us uh, bonus stats for crit damage. Then on the offense tree, we've gone crit rate, crit damage, and then just very sort of standard stuff, hugging the left hand side to increase our damage. And then on the right hand side, all the way into flawless execution, just to get that extra 20% uh, bonus crit damage. Uh, next up, we've got Bellower. Actually, let's look at Cold Heart number two. So, Cold Heart number two, two broken sets and crit rate um, set. So, as you can see, with Cold Heart, you know, it's more about stats. She doesn't need to have specific um, gear sets, but she'll probably be built very similar. Crit damage, HP, speed, then HP again, then crit damage, and then accuracy on the banner again. 42k HP, um, 197 for speed. So this is the slower, slower Cold Heart for my speed tuning on um, Spider 25. 79 crit rate. 259 crit damage, would like that to be a bit higher, and then 264 accuracy again. Uh, and then mastery is very, very similar. So, Beloa, we've got in Savage in a broken set, and once again, very, very similar crit damage on the gloves, um, attack percentage on the chest, speed on the boots, attack on the ring, crit damage on the amulet, and then accuracy on the banner. So 33k HP, so decent amount of survivability, 3.2k attack, um, which is going to help us do more damage. Um, he's quite slow though, would like it to be around more 200, but that's fine. Um, would like this to be 100% crit rate, but, you know, Savage gear, you know, it is the best gear. I don't really want to be wasting it on a rare champion. Definitely save it for your legendary nukers, who are going to be, you know, in for arena and stuff like that. Um, 239 crit damage, which is fine. Would like it to be like sort of around 260 would be a lot better. Uh, accuracy really on point though because he does bring a lot of utility and a lot of debuff and we want him to be landing that so 232 accuracy and again masteries um he's i didn't finish the masteries on him but if i did i probably would go war master with him and um, help speed up the run but yeah just again very sort of standard stuff on the left hand offense tree just all about damage and a little bit of survivability with life drinker then support just all about accuracy um laura still again and then um, Evil Eye to help with turn meter control. And then Master Hexer for debuffs and Sniper for debuffs as well. Then we've got uh, Apothecary. So in triple speed set. Um, so HP on the gloves. HP on the chest. Speed on the boots. HP on the ring. Defense on the amulet. And then resistance on the uh, banner. So got 57k HP, um, 2.3 defense, so very, very low defense. Uh, 3k probably better, but you know, for this, that is more than enough. Um, he's quite slow, only 250 speed. I could definitely bump that up to like 300, no problem. Um, but you know, 250 is more than enough, and you know, you don't want to be wasting your best speed gear on rare champions. You do want to be using it on your Arbiter and stuff like that. Uh, and then resistance 349. Um, so that's definitely overkill. Um, I was using him for Doom Tower content, so that's why he's got so much resistance. But to be fair, the only stats you need to worry about are HP, defense, and speed. Nothing else. Actually, crit rate as well, because he can crit on his heals. Uh, and then masteries um, don't really matter for um, Fire Knight, but level 20. But you know, they've gone for a bit of extra HP, more healing. Um, and increasing our healing as well, and then a chance to increase our turn as well when our debuff, uh, so when our buffs expire, and then cycle of magic, magic as well can be useful, and then everlasting gifts just to increase that speed buff that we throw out. 
And then the defense tree is just all about survivability, reducing AoE damage that we receive, and increasing our healing as well. Um, also, Psycho Revenge is quite good. So if we do have a big hit on us, there's a good chance that you know we can um, you know increase our turn meter. Uh, and then Unshakable just for more resistance. So almost there, and last champion, Solbon Boyar, number one. Um, so she's in a stun set and perception. We've got a uh, crit damage on the gloves, attack on the chest, speed on the boots, attack on the ring, crit damage on the amulet, and accuracy on the banner. Total stats 29k HP, 3.3k attack, um, 201 speed, 76% crit rate, and then 211 crit damage, and then 256 uh, accuracy. So we definitely, you know, if you wanted to speed this up, you could definitely give her a uh, Perrin Savage. You'd want your crit damage to be around 250. Um, another champion who doesn't need a hundred percent crit rate. Um, she only needs a hundred, uh, sorry, seventy percent and above. And masteries. Um, so mine is built for secret rooms, but ideally you'd want her to have Helm Smasher uh, or War Master. So Helm Smasher will help speed up the waves. And Warmaster will help do more damage to the boss. And then, yeah, it's just all about defense. Um, and, yeah, getting counterattacks. And the offense tree is fine. Um, just basically, you wouldn't take Fearsome Presence. That is just for the secret rooms. Yeah, and probably uh, taking Silence. Uh, cycle Violence would be quite good as well. Um, you know, basically, there's a good chance you can cycle through abilities more. And she hits really hard with her A2 and A3. Um, so yeah, that is pretty much the end of the video, guys. Um, thank you so much for watching. If this video has helped you, please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Peace!